Mr. Myers, how have you been feeling? Can't complain. Why don't we talk about that day? Um... It's okay. That's why you're here. Let's talk about it. Well, she lived in my building. Okay, so keep going. Well, she was definitely hiding something. It might not have been obvious to anybody else, but I could definitely see it. Okay, uh-huh. And, well, she lives two floors below me, so naturally I stopped the floor on her floor, the elevator on her floor, and she declined my offer, which was pretty weird. Kept going up then? Yes, ma'am. There's only two floors above mine, so that's when I really began to wonder if she, what she was going to do up there. So, she was going to the roof? Had to be. So what'd you do next? I felt like I had to act. And I didn't know whether she was in danger or in trouble. I mean, nobody ever really has a reason to go on the roof on their own. So that's when you grabbed your firearm? Yes, ma'am. So you were in the military, correct? Yes. I was a U.S. Marine. And I was home between tours. So do you have any idea why she was on the roof in the first place? Well, she and her husband have really been having some troubles. Um, you know, they lived just a couple floors below me, so I heard them fighting. Um, yeah. Apparently he cheated on her. He didn't know that she knew, but she knew. You know, sometimes that idiot husband of hers, he, he just, just, just didn't think. You know, he just made his men look bad. And that's when I saw her. people down there I'm sure they're no more innocent than he is we can talk about this stop it so that's when you shot it was either take out part of the building or let a lot of innocent people die so you mean take out part of the building and part of yourself Yes, ma'am. That was a sacrifice I was willing to make. <clears throat> okay, well, we're all out of time. Uh, next time, we're going to talk about how this has made you feel.